All right, all right, all right. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping, Aries? It is me. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. I missed you guys. Welcome to Scorpion Red Tarot. We're going to get it all the way in today to find out what the energies are surrounding the sign of Aries for July 2021. We're here to have some fun, baby. The party has just begun. Shout out to all my OGs. I missed you. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last uh, one of you guys that have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button, okay? We are reloaded, all right? If there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me, all you got to do is check the description box of this video or the about tab on my YouTube page. Send me a message on Instagram or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and we're going to connect and we're going to put big respect all on your energy, baby. We're going to find out what's going on and we're going to make it great. We're going to make a pop and poo you feel me all right so listen y'all know what we do every time we get in here before we get into the energy before we have fun we want to give god his flowers his recognition we just want to thank and give him praise for all of the blessed just guidance that we've been receiving so if y'all don't mind bow your head with me let's give god his praise and thanks father god we thank you so much for bringing this here for the sign of aries we thank you so much for the strength father god we are reloaded and we are ready to just <laughs> take hold of every single blessing that you have on our name father god we are just so thankful we i don't know for some reason we feel famous we feel like there's like the spotlight on us right now so we ready to show up and show out and show all father god we are just like i said we are just reloaded father god thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've been passing around just not only us the sign of aries but the people around us you know the more that we see happy around us we just know that there's more happy being just resonated inside of us because we can see it on the outside of our world and within father god so we gonna stay on this path and amen amen father god please give us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of aries for july 2021 we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you for covering us with your love and covering us with your protection in jesus name amen all right let's get into this you guys so i got all new decks on the table all new decks on the table thank you guys while i was on my off season everyone that's been booking y'all readings y'all been supporting me like no other thank you so much so listen we got a, it's like a crystal grid deck so let's see what crystal pop okay come on now aries pop out okay y'all got the obsidian straight out the door y'all said uh-uh father god listen let's <laughs> put some respect on our name i need you to put that protection a little bit stronger i need to last a little bit longer y'all not playing with nobody out here listen that black obsidian y'all's not playing not playing at all it says the shadow the mirror amorphous it says a dark and mysterious crystal obsidian reaches into the depths of the shadow shedding light on what needs to be healed in order to move forward obsidian serves as a mirror revealing our deepest truth obsidian crystalline structure is an amorphous moving beyond the conventional time to dip into the past present and future wielding great powers to clear obstacles Use obsidian to shield against psychic attacks and to ground your base chakra back on the planet Earth. This represents Sagittarius and the planet of Saturn. Okay? Y'all are not playing. You like Father God. Can't nobody touch me because you cannot touch God's anointed. I need them to know that. Let them know I've been shielded with black obsidian because I have no fear to face my own shadow and to face my own darkness and to look at the depths of what I need to change for myself. Hello? We are reloading. Y'all said y'all is not coming to play. <laughs> Come on, Aries. Y'all is not coming to play at all. All right? No, ma'am. And you know what I'm getting here? It's like you guys are just like really blocking people out that are mirroring a place where you used to be in your past. If it's, you know, any any type of negative influence of things that you've been trying to change, if that if you look at something, a situation, a place, anything, and it just gives you that mirror energy of when you were in a shadow period and you are so much in your light right now you are just like no i'm blocking that shit absolutely not give me guidance for aries for july give me one card please 
Okay, that's too much. Thank you very much. We'll take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll take that. Okay, you got the Ace of Wands. I understand that. New development. You got that fire lit in you. You know you're in a new, brand new, fresh place in your life. And you want to protect that with everything. You feel so passionate. You feel driven right now. You having that Phoenix rising moment. Like you are totally on your shit right now, Aries. You are on fire. Keep being relocked. Look. Relocked and reloaded, honey. We are loaded. I love that. The Ace of Wands. I want to say like the Ace of Flames. Like seriously. And in regard, like. I feel like. Y'all are like feeling yourself. Y'all are in y'all in your ego right now. Like y'all really feeling yourself on a high level. You could really be like looking better, dressing better, eating more fruits and more vegetables. I feel I feel like someone is like really taking care of themselves. They're being generous to themselves. You feel like hot fire. It's like when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror, you like that's a bad motherfucker right there. And it's like it shows. That's all I can. It's just like it shows. And it's something about when you are in a place of new development, things are hot, things are lightning, things are juicy, things are just like really, really moving quickly. Doors are opening for you. It seems like a lot of hate and a lot of animosity and thing. And that's why y'all are just carrying that black obsidian on y'all because it's just like every time I move forward, there's something from the past that tries to like pull me down and it's like... This is a car of movement. This is a car. Oh, and then you got the birds. So there's a lot of communication. The birds represents communication. It could represent, I want to say like negotiations, like a lot of banter back and forth. Um, and again, like all of the Aries that I know. Okay. We just going to call it thing a thing. A lot of the Aries that I know, they always think people are talking about them gossiping. You know, people got their name in their mouth. And like <laughs> every Aries that I know swear someone running around talking about what's going on in their house got that you know what i'm saying and it's like i feel like people are not listening no more do you see how that bird is turning their head so it might be someone like and again like it's like with that obsidian the shit is being blocked i don't know if people are coming to you oh i feel like this is Gossip or just drama about what's going on in their own house. It's like whatever goes on in this person's house is always on their mind. They're always talking and putting that energy off on you. So I don't know if this could be like, because I don't think that this is your house. This is their house. And I don't know if this person could be older. You see, this, this bird is bigger than this bird or something. But it's like, I don't want to listen to that no more. It's like, I'm blocking off that energy. I don't want to listen to your drama and your bullshit no more. Because it's just like, don't bring me your bad energy. That's kind of what I'm getting. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I'm finally on a point in my life where things are going. It's like, I'm shielding all negative energy. Because the more I hang around people that got drama and bullshit going on in their house. And they always talking about this, this, and that. Gossiping. Blue, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's bringing that energy in my house. And I'm not doing that. I have a brand. I have a brand new destiny. So it's like if you're not talking to me about some shit that is going to propel me forward and help me while I'm in my element right now. Because right now I'm in my element. This is the Aries. This is the fire sign. This is you. I'm in my element right now. You got to get the fuck away from me. And that's just period. I don't want to hear about what's going on in your... I don't want to hear about the drama that's going on in your house no more. Like that's what... It's like I don't want to hear about that no more. So sorry about it. And then what is this... The seven of diamonds. So the, 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 the seven of diamonds is when. The seven of diamonds is like. That means someone that's a hard worker. It means like. I'm hearing. I, you went through this already. It's like I don't want to hear about something no more. It's like someone is coming to you with something. It's like you went through it already. You keep trying to work something out. And it's like. It's overkill. It's like you doing too much to try to appease something and the shit's still not working out. So if you're going to keep dealing with it, I don't want to hear about it. Do you understand? It's somebody that does not want to hear about drama. On period. Seven of Diamonds is someone that 
it's telling someone that you could be at risk of, of overworking yourself, overexerting your energy, you know, someone putting in a lot of strenuous hard work to make a bad situation better. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, or at least that's what I think it means. Let me go get, no, I ain't even about to do that. That's what I think it means. Because it's like telling you to prepare yourself for a lot of hard work ahead or something like that. And the birds just in general is just cards of just, like I said, communication, but I feel like it's still communication because you have to, it's mirroring a place that you don't want to be. It's like someone that's around you that continues, to, yeah, because you got the Ten of Pentacles right here in the reverse. Is this the Ten of Pentacles? Yes. This is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like right now the Aries, now that they have some newness in their life, people that are continuing to hold on to broken pieces and continue to mend broken pieces i don't want to be around that no more i've already experienced that i don't want to hang around people that represent that ten of pentacles is like learning how to just let some shit go and i feel like you guys are might you're tired of like having a counsel someone to learn how to let go and it's i, I don't know that's why i feel like that Okay, I was about to say, clarify this Ace of Wands. You got the Empress in the reverse. So, again, this is like someone moving on, letting go from a situation that I want to say it's like they didn't really want to be in because the Empress in the reverse is like someone that is making a change, someone that is, um, when you have the Empress in reverse, this is someone that's uncomfortable, they feel like they can't grow, it feels like their beauty isn't shining, and with that Ace of Wands right there, it's like, I'd rather be free, I'd rather start over, I'd rather take all of this shit that I have, that I've been carrying with me, all of my clothes, anything that represents my identity, where I am, where I stand right now, I'd rather burn, like I said, the... Phoenix rising. It's like, I'd rather burn all of that shit. I don't want to be known for that anymore. I feel expired to change. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel beautiful. I don't feel loved. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel nourished. That's the Empress in the reverse. So it's like someone that needs to change. Either it's, there's a feminine energy in their life that they feel is not being a true counterpart. And they're, again, shedding that. Look, this, it didn't work. It's not working. Or again, this is a situation where you put a lot of effort in. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like we should be in a, we should be successful right now. The Ten of Pentacles is financial success, emotional success, comfortability. And this is a lot of time wasted, a lot of bullshit. And I'm not sitting the way I should be sitting right now. I'm not being given the respect. I'm the Empress. But I can't it's not being shown by my lifestyle. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like all the hard work without the true title and the the the, the ambiance of being the empress and then reaching the ten of pent. Like no, this is like failure. So this is again stop someone having to learn to stop living in the shadow energy and again. If this is you, Aries, that these are people around you that are representing you. Stop hanging around these motherfuckers that represent some shit that you don't want to be in no more. Because I don't even feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is something that motherfuckers is bringing to you. Or, again, it could be out of female energy that just doesn't feel comfortable and she needs change. Because it was time wasted. And it don't have to do with relationships. Because, like, the Ten of Pentacles, this, this can be like a job title to me. This can mean, like, I'm on my job. I've been working hard, and y'all keep coming to me with this bullshit. You know, it's make-believe. I don't believe it anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm, I'd rather just move on. You told me that before. <laughs> like, no. Because it's like, with this here next to this, it's like, Maybe someone gave in into you gave into the illusion before and you put in all that hard work and you worked overtime and you still broke? What? It's like no, hold on. No. Absolutely no. We gotta clean it up. Shout out to the ace of wands. Uh-uh. We're not even doing that. Let's just start. Let's just say we did. Let's 
Let's just say we didn't, okay? It says, you are an I. Use this higher aspect of yourself to redeem your shadow aspects. You see this? You are an I. Like, you was it. That's all I can say. And again, this has to do with, like, shadow energy. Shadow energy. Use this higher aspect of yourself to redeem your shadow aspects. So, before we get off into the love situation, I feel like someone is in a situation where they got their back up against the wall. And when... I don't want to say I don't want to say you're at your lowest, but when you are in a spot where the things that are being mirrored around you is shit that you don't want to keep anymore, it makes you it makes you transition. It makes you metamorph. Cause the only way I'm gonna get my back from up against this wall, cause now I feel caged and I feel smothered. I gotta fight. I'm about to fight like hell. Do you understand? I'm about to set this whole motherfucker up flame. Motherfuckers gonna know my name. They gonna put some respect on my name right now. You know? To the point, I don't know why I feel like I wanna say to the point where they can't stand me. It's like I'm going to shake, rattle, and roll this bitch. Because at the end of the day, whatever these people are talking is bullshit. It hasn't been, it hasn't been bringing you good tidings. It hasn't been bringing you good blessings. And... Use this shadow energy. Use this right now. When you feel uncomfortable, that's when you fight the hardest. That's when <laughs> that's when the real magic starts to happen. Because you just like, oh no. Nah. As long as I'm protected with that black obsidian. It says use obsidian to shield yourself against psychic attacks and ground yourself back to the base chakra and back to earth. Grounding. So let's get into the love energy real quick. I want to go here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Goodness. Let's see what we got. I just know that you'll be more comfortable. I know what you... Because I feel like you're stepping out of the shadow moment. You're glowing now. You're glowing like shit. And I really do feel like you feel yourself. And as long as you keep that black up to you, and as soon as something comes around you, that mirror is something that you just got away from, you know what to do. Keep moving. That Ace of Wands is movement. It's travel. It's progression. When you uncomfortable, that's when the, listen, pressure creates diamonds. And that's all I can say. It says the garden. I feel like this is like this is something public. It's like you being seen again. I feel like this means comfortability. This means socializing. This means being an upstanding citizen. I don't know why I want to. Say <laughs> I don't know why I want to say that. It's like you're good. You're you. You have good grounding right now. I feel like you feel like you're in touch back with your nature. Remember, like. The Ace of Wands can actually mean passion. It can mean sex. It can mean, like to me, it means maturity. It means growth. Do you understand? It means being inspired. So, like, maybe you are going out. You're being seen more. I feel like this means, like, socializing. And again, this means socializing. You know, it. this can even mean social media. So, like, the birds can mean social media. The garden can mean social media as well. Do you understand? So, I don't know if you're, like, being more visible. You're being more public. I, I feel like you guys are understanding what's real and what's fake. Or what is coming with baggage or something. I don't know. I feel like if it's coming with baggage, it's being blocked. That's all I know. I feel like you are enjoying yourself right now. Like, you're feeling your nature. I don't know. I feel like, especially with the Ace of Wands, that can mean, like, sex. It can mean, like, endurance. It can mean, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like your public persona has changed. 
there could be someone that maybe stepped away from an empress in the reverse or failed relationship or failed marriage or failed business opportunity or something like you move past this and it's like you took a difficult moment and you turned it around to benefit you so you look good like that's how i feel you damn sure look good i feel like you're enjoying the public response it's like you you, you like the response that you're getting it's I don't know. I feel like whoever this is is single. I'm about to just hang out and enjoy myself for a while. I don't feel like there's a rush for a relationship. You're really just enjoying hanging out in the public. Give me one little card. Let me just take one at random because these little things. What's this? Trust in the healing powers of love. For it's only through love that happiness is possible. Observe all that transpires but don't get emotionally attached i told you listen the storm will clear you can be safe of assistance wait you can be of you can be of assistance to the one you love only if you remain positive, Lord Jesus. They go that third grade education reading. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes I act like I ain't graduating. I, <laughs> okay, well, I'm retired. My day ain't got started. I can't read. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, again. Trust the healing power of love. For it is only through love that happiness is possible. Observe all that transpires. But don't get emotionally attached. <laughs> like I said, don't get, look, stay grounded. Stay grounded. The storm will clear. You can be of assistance to the one you love only if you remain positive. Again, the storm will clear. Observe. Don't get attached. I feel like you guys are just enjoying yourself and being very observant let's get these last cards and let's wrap this up let me get two cards for this love situation let's get up out of here all right aries trust in the healing power of love i feel like you guys truly do believe in love y'all truly do believe that you can have a healthy relationship and that you can find some place that you're comfortable it the biggest thing that you had to do is i feel like separate yourself from certain energies and realize how beautiful you are or how talented you are because the ace of wands is like i'm talented i'm beautiful i'm blessed you know what I mean? like that's big dick energy big tit energy you know what i'm saying it's like i know i'm that bitch or i know you know because again it's like to just be able to lay out here it's like i'm about to just lay out here online and just let these motherfuckers just look eat it i'm letting these motherfuckers eat it right now i don't know if you haven't been Public, it's like, I don't know, I feel like someone hasn't been public or they haven't. They don't put their self out there like that. But it's like, now I am. I feel free. I feel inspired. The Queen of Cups in the reverse. Again, like, this is something about, like... I don't know if you could have been dealing with... And this is like a porcupine. Jesus. Like, really? The Queen of Cups with porcupine? It's like, when the Queen of Cups is in the reverse, she can be an emotional wreck. And it's like, she could, like, you could harbor that energy where you could start feeling emotionally insecure and just start doubting yourself and just be in a whiny pot. And just, I feel like there's whiny children and just, like, I don't know, like, hey. That Queen of Cups energy, I feel like that's what, you got to be confident in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever, because I don't know who this is. Because this could be who this person is talking to you about. And it's like, if it's over, let it be done. It's something about why do you keep trying to, I don't know. It's like, I, it's, it's something about someone doesn't like this woman. I don't know if this is a, a friend and that's his girlfriend or his wife that he got this child with or something. And you don't like this woman. Like, she's insecure. She's a pest. She's irritating. It's like, you can't be 
with your homie or your family member or who whatever without this person having to tie everything into what's going on. It's like this bitch got to be everywhere or something like that. Because like the Queen of Cups in the reverse is insecure. And you see how this person has the head, the, the family, the house tied to his head. And it's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to like, this woman is just like irritating. I don't know. <laughs> Give me one more. Oh my God. This is too, it's like it's spinning over on the table. It's like. I feel like someone doesn't, uh, it's like this person isn't invited anymore. It's like you can't, this person is not a part of our family. So, or someone doesn't recognize someone as a part of their family because they're drama, they're irritating, it's frustrating, dealing, like in order to do what you got to deal with this bitch and hearing about this. I don't want to hear about that shit. Anymore. That's your bitch. That's your bitch that don't know how to cook and she be walking around looking homely and she a Bama. I don't know. It's like this. The, the girl could be a Bama. Like she don't know how to dress. Like she's a stone cold Bama. Like she could be dirty. Like the kids. Uh, I'm tired. I'm like, oh God, why am I? I gotta get out of that. I'm sorry. Like why? Who is this friend of y'all's? Like y'all need to do something with that. Cause it's like my life is good. Like if I don't talk to you, my life is good. Stop bringing your drama. God, why does why does that frustrating the fuck out of me? I gotta stop. Okay, what is this? The Empress in the reverse again. Please stop this shit. What the fuck is up with this Empress in the reverse, bruh? And again, it's like some bitch that don't know how to cook. Like she don't know how to cook. She don't keep her house clean. None of that shit. I don't know if it's like again irritating and this could be a water sign woman she could be a fucking pisces scorpio cancer woman i don't know or again this is like an insecure individual and it's like this person has a problem with someone's public persona what they do in the public or something like that it's like they can feel like this person is moving on without me he this motherfucker probably is because it's something about this person like they're annoying you know i don't know what to tell you about it and it's like for you to be the empress and to be the the queen mother or something like that, you should be well prepared. You should have yourself more put together. And it's like someone is too old not to have their self together as a woman. You should be carrying yourself different, you know. And maybe that's why this person is being detached. They're not being seen in the public with, with whoever this person is. It's just like, I'm not happy and... Again, like the Ace of Wands, this is like someone moving on. This is someone moving on because this isn't a good representation of what I am. This is shadow shit. This is when I wasn't in a good place. And you could tell the things that I wasn't in a good place because the people that I had around me, my friends that I used to hang with, the people I was dating, all of that shit was just not a good representation of me and what I can bring to myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Trust in the healing power of love for only through love you can receive happiness. And happiness is possible, you guys. And it says you can be of assistance to one you love if you remain positive. And again, I believe that Aries, you showing how set forth you are about moving forward being public about your happiness only hanging and remaining around people that are on this level with you that are moving movements if you are not making listen outlet it's i'm gonna tell you for aries aries was right where whoever this person was right you can't keep bringing me this shit yeah that's where i was but that's not where i'm at now you are deciding to deal with this shit so deal with it I don't want to hear about this shit no more. Like, I I could be free. I'm out in the public. I could date who I want. And any people that's bringing me this type of energy or that you feel like is bringing this type of energy out of you. Because, again, I don't know why I feel like lazy. It's just like, I don't, I would say like it isn't really trying, don't try to put much into their look and doesn't make a good first impression. I feel like this is someone that is like a family friend or in some way. But it's like th th this person, like that's your bitch. Like that's not my family. That's not my, I don't like say like this is like your step cousin. Your step cousin. Say like this is like your cousin's wife or, 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 or something like that. And 
yeah, y'all family, and you married to her, but that bitch ain't my family because that bitch is annoying. I don't claim her. So it's like whoever it is, like whoever this feminine energy is that is just like upside down and just like backwards out, like I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> no. And whoever it is, they need to fix that. Like the Queen of Cups in the reverse is like, the worst is the worst. Anyway, I love y'all. I gotta go. Aries. <laughs> I really do feel like this reading was to show other people why Aries is so un is not not emotionally attached and they're doing what they're doing to protect themselves. I feel like I don't know, Aries. Do you need to send this video to the friend that's dealing with this? So, cause I cause Aries could just be enjoying themselves like this and their new shit and not telling this person it's like they're it's like they're not picking up the hint so if you need to send this video to whoever this person is that is dealing with this bullshit and just like listen i don't want to block you i don't want to block you son send this so they can pick up the hint because you're done you don't want to listen to this shit no more anyway and i don't want to i don't want to listen to it no more either i love you aries peace i'm so sorry that y'all did this i love y'all bye